Hi and welcome to the channel. Today will be a vlog type video where I will tell you how I resolved an issue with my RTX 3060s. So I have two RTX 3060s. One is this Gigabyte Gaming OC and another is the Iorus Elite. I was just doing routine testing and noticed a few things. First is with Gigabyte Gaming OC, the fans were at 100% speed and it was very loud. And then second is with Iorus Elite, it performed worse in terms of FPS by 6 FPS, which is roughly 6.7% weaker against the gaming OC. And just to let you know, when these two cards were brand new, the Iorus Elite constantly outperforms my gaming OC by 2 FPS. I also noticed that the fans in my Iorus Elite was 100%. Looking back at the footage, notice also that the temps are very high at 90 degrees Celsius. This is unusual in almost every GPU. If you are facing an issue like this, where the fans are having hard time cooling it, then it likely means that the thermal paste has already dried up and or your GPU is dirty and it needs some deep cleaning. So for both of these tasks, you are required to dismantle your GPU. And so it is best to do both of those tasks in one shot. For this task, you will need 99% isopropyl alcohol. So for this, I just bought this from uh, Lazada. Screwdriver with small bits. A microfiber cloth for wiping out stuff. And a set of Q-tips or cotton buds to reach the corners of the GPU. For this assembly, you need to remove the back plate first. For the Gigabyte RTX 3060s, there are four spring screws at the back, so remove those first. And then remove the other screws. Note that for Gigabyte's 3060, there are three sets of screws that are of different height. So it is best if you have a GPU diagram to place the screws. As for me, I can remember them and look back at this footage if need be. So I did not draw any diagram. Once unscrewed, try to pull the PCB apart from the heatsink. You might need to give it a good twist. But as for my case, it was easily pulled apart. Next is to remove all the connectors. For my gaming OC, there are two fan connectors at the bottom and one RGB connector at the top. So try to do this carefully. But as for me, I got impatient and just plugged out the RGB connector altogether. So in this shot, notice how the thermal paste has really dried up. Using a microfiber cloth dipped in alcohol, clean up the thermal paste. At some point, I measured the thermal pads so that I could buy a new one. Remove all thermal pads as these are already for replacement. They're too dry and already dirty. Clean the PCB using Q-tips dipped in 99% isopropyl alcohol. You can also use a microfiber cloth that is dipped in 99% isopropyl alcohol. Remove the back plate. So if you notice, the back plate has no thermal pads and does not help much in heat dissipation. You can wipe the back plate using a microfiber cloth. Clean the PCB until you are satisfied. At this point, I screwed the PCB back to the back plate so that I have less screws to keep track of. Now it's time to work with the heatsink. The heatsink has four screws connected to the shroud, so just unscrew those first. Most of the dirt of the heatsink will be on the top of the fin stack. So wipe it off first with microfiber cloth. Technically, you can wash this with water, but it will be a hassle to dry as you need to completely dry this up without any water spec. So for me, I did not do that. Use cotton buds to clean those hard to reach places. Ideally, use a strong blower or compressed air to remove all dust. As for the fan, usual GPU fans are connected to the shroud with three screws, so just unscrew those first. However, I was not able to pull out the fan completely as the cables are so tied together. And so I just cleaned the fans in place. Same concept, use microfiber cloth for bigger surface and use Q-tips for hard to reach places. Next, I screwed back the fans to the shroud, screw back the heat sink to the shroud as well and then i ordered a bunch of thermal pads and thermal paste online and it arrived two days later so once the thermal pads arrived i put in the new thermal pads i applied new thermal paste plug in the fan connectors plug in the broken rgb connector and screw back the back plate okay so one major mistake which was not recorded is that both of my gpus were running worse than before I cleaned them. My mistake was that the thermal pads that I bought were too thick at 1mm. 
and the heatsink was not making contact to the GPU. I removed the pads from the VRAM and put it in the backplate as these pads are expensive and you shouldn't waste them. I retested both GPUs and thermals were way better without the thermal pads. So the pads used by Gigabyte are just 0.5 mm. So I ordered pads again, thermal pads again, and installed them in my Gigabyte Gaming OC. So I tested my GPU again and it was running cold at below 70 degrees Celsius. This was also during Typhoon Carding, so I'm expecting it to reach 70 degrees Celsius during summer. The test ran for 30 minutes and there was no thermal throttling, making a case closed for my Gigabyte Gaming OC. However, the case is still open for my Eurus Elite. Even without the thermal pads, it is reaching thermal throttle state in 5 minutes or so. I may have to troubleshoot this a bit further, but I'm not expecting much views nor interaction for this video, so just comment down below if you want a follow-up video. If there are enough comments, then I'll document that as well. As for now, I'm happy that I can use my Gigabyte RTX 3060 Gaming OC as I need this for benchmarks. So yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Do like or dislike. Comment on what you think, especially that I'm speaking English now. And subscribe for more unboxing and benchmarks. Bye.